What's crappin' in y'all, and welcome to the best two-handed weapon guide in Valheim. I am talking about the Himenov. And yes, it does do 143 damage, which is slightly less than the new Demolisher, but it makes up with having twice as fast attack speed and a smaller AoE damage than the Demolisher. But once again, like I said, it makes up with so much more speed. But to begin this off, to even create this, you will have need to have already ventured into the Mistlands and gathered up at least 10 black cores from infested mines. Now you will find these black cores either just around random corners, you'll see them on little posts the same way you would find certling cores, or sometimes you find them behind hidden doors that you have to press on and it slides down and it will unveil a secret treasure room. Now including the cores, you will have also need to have found some of this petrified bone. Now quick tip, always leave Munin around the entrances to the infested mines and the bones, that way that he will always kind of give you a heads up because he doesn't pop up around the ancient armor only the bones but you'll need about 40 of these to be able to create the necessary crafting stations that we're going to need to make the Himenolf. To build the Himenolf the first thing you're going to need is 10 pieces of the Yggdrasil wood which is found all over the Mistlands inside of the Yggdrasil chutes. Now I'm sure everybody's seen these and probably already gathered a shit ton of them. So moving on to the roots. Now we're gonna to need to extract this sap and refine it. Now to extract this, you need to have already came to some of these diverger buildings and got you an extractor out of one of these blue glowing boxes. Now you'll, it doesn't have to be the little dwarves inside for it to have the an extractor, an extractor box or a component box, mind you, because you find them everywhere and the little huts abandoned. So I'm sure if you haven't stumbled across one of these yet, you certainly will. But be careful because if there is Diverger there, they will not like you stealing their shit. So be careful. But once you have your extractors and you've came back to your roots, you can then put an extractor on it and begin taking the sap out. But be careful, there is a finite amount of sap in each root. So once you start taking it out, it will slow down more and more until the glowing fades and then it just kind of trickles out after that. So I just set up a few on there to get us a bunch of sap. So coming back to build the refinery, like I said, you will. this is why you're going to need some black marble and cores. And then we're going to use some of the Yggdrasil wood and black metal to create the refinery. So once you have added your sap, then we can go ahead and hop up top and we can load in some of the soft tissue, which is another special item only found in the Diverger outposts as is right now. They are inside these crates as you can see right behind this guy. You just bust those crates open and you'll find lots of soft tissue inside those to run your refineries. And there we have it going now. And now it's just a waiting game. Boom. And which of course there is way more efficient ways to set these refineries up. But that's something we'll talk about later. Voila! We have a beautiful little green glowing ball of refined eye tier. So now we can take that. And you're going to need 15 of these to create the Himenolf. And you're going to need four mandibles found right here in Seeker Soldiers. Which these guys are pretty tough. But they do destroy a lot of material in the process. So they're handy to battle. And it's not a semi-rare drop. So you'll be able to get the four mandibles fairly quick. But after gathering all the hard to get items on your Viking shopping list. It is safe to return home and grab you up five pieces of, of refined silver. That way you can create the Himenolf. So altogether, it's a fairly simple recipe. I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you did, hit that like button for me. And don't forget to subscribe for more Valheim. And I'll catch you folks in the next one.